Hey, Holland, at 502 here. Let's dip in live Washington, D.C. The city will play host to former President Trump's newest arraignment at 4 o'clock this afternoon. As you can imagine, security is tight. Extra protection barriers, fences are already up near the federal courthouse where Mr. Trump will be later today. Now, even though just like in Miami, it is very possible we may never even see him enter the courthouse, he'll be using underground access. When the former president is technically arrested and arraigned today, it will be on four federal counts tied to him allegedly scheming to overturn the 2020 election. WPTV's John Barron live near Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate for us this morning in Palm Beach with more on this. John? Yeah, so we've been hearing from both sides since the announcement on Tuesday, and now we're hearing even more testimony as we're getting ready to see President Trump enter the courtroom for yet his newest arraignment. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. Well, that was Jack Smith. He's part of the special counsel for the U.S. Department of Justice. He's giving us another opinion on what took place that day. And now the former president faces four counts of conspiracies related to obstructing the peaceful transfer of power. And on Wednesday, both former Vice President Mike Pence and his once chief of staff pointed to Mr. Trump failed efforts to prove the election fraud. What the president maintained that day and frankly has said over and over again over the last two and a half years is completely false. If he has the evidence, then all these conspiracy charges would go away. But that's not the case that you hear his defense team presenting. Now, given the violence that rocked the nation's capital on January 6th of 2021, the Trump defense team may seek to move the trial out of D.C., but as of now, President Trump is expected to appear at the courthouse in D.C. at 4 p.m. And it is important to note that Trump's defense team is expected to plead not guilty. Of course, we'll be hearing more from the defense team coming up in the next half hour. But until then, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, John, thanks so much. So how will this federal case impact the classified documents trial that's set in federal court in Fort Pierce next May. A former federal prosecutor says scheduling could be a bit of a challenge here. Trump is scheduled to be tried in New York. That's in March over hush money payments to a porn star. The case for classified documents will be laid out about two months later. This is tied to Mar-a-Lago. That's going to happen in Fort Pierce. Legal experts say it is possible the D.C. case could be over and done with before the classified documents case even gets underway. As I stand here right now, it's a single defendant case, four counts, and a lot of overt acts. So I, it's something that the judge could push to go to trial inside of six to eight months. The former president has proclaimed his innocence in all of these investigations. It could be a few days before the judge in the D.C. trial tied to overturning the election results sets a court date. All right, meantime, more potential trouble. We talked about this at the beginning of the show. The special counsel prosecuting the former President Trump and his alleged mishandling of government secrets says a defense attorney for co-defendant Walt Nauta may have a conflict of interest here. Let's talk about it. In a court filing yesterday, prosecutor said the lawyer for Trump valet, Walt Nauta, has represented at least seven other clients that prosecutors interviewed about Trump's alleged efforts to keep classified documents from the government. Filing says two of Stanley Woodward, that's the lawyer's name, his clients could be called as government witnesses in the trial. That means Woodward could cross-examine them. Special counsel Jack Smith said that could raise the risk of attorneys' improper use or disclosure of the client's confidence during that cross-examination. So we'll see how this pans out this morning, Ashley. Okay.